Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are checking out another brand new 2023 release from Collect Day. We've got ourselves our first aquatic creature for this year. We have the Mosasaurus, and it's very cool to see a Mosasaurus released by Collect Day. It's been a little while since we had a Mosasaurus from Collect Day, and it's nice to have a, you know, brand new updated version of the animal and uh, you can definitely see it looks really good overall it's another really nice looking model although this is definitively the first one that we have had that doesn't include that dark wash and for obvious reasons because you know even though it kind of is like being somebody that paints models and things like that all the time like you see it and you're just like oh I really just want to add a little bit of like you know dry brushing or a little bit of you know, a wash or something to it. This is a marine reptile, so it's not really going to have that dirty-like appearance or anything like that. So the lack of a wash on this is pretty much exactly how it should look, really, because, again, it's not going to have any sort of, like, a dirty-like appearance or anything. So they definitely did a very good job as far as the, you know, overall appearance to it, whether it's the sculpt or paint. It definitely looks very nice to me. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight to a closer look at it right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of the Mosasaurus, you can see that the head sculpt looks really quite nice. Beautiful shape for the head sculpt of a Mosasaurus. You can also see we have the nostrils sculpted out as well as the ears back there. Really nice grayish tones for the face. And you also have a nicely painted eye, a nice black eye there with a nice gloss coat. Again, very lifelike looking as far as the eye goes. You can also see some nice detailing there around the eye in the eye socket area and also some nice looking skin texture you know some really nice looking scale detail throughout quite a bit of it as well we do have an articulated jaw it can open quite nicely pretty wide and then you've got some alternate tones of color there on the inside of the mouth with some variations of purples and kind of a pinkish sort of a tone there running down the tongue you can see the detail also looks quite nice on the inside of the mouth and we do have that extra row of teeth right there in the center of the upper jaw and then if you look down here, you can again see that the tongue looks really nice overall. And again, I like that they differentiated the tongue as far as the coloration goes with that lighter tone of a pinkish coloration. We do also have nicely sculpted teeth. Every tooth is sculpted individually here. Of course, excluding the area on the inside of the mouth. But And of course, excluding the fact that my camera is a jerk and is losing focus. But you can also see again that every tooth is sculpted individually on the upper jaw, running around the jawline and the lower jaw. And they're all painted pretty nicely, you know, for the most part. I don't really notice any real sloppiness or anything going on in the paint of the teeth. And again, you can see that that articulated jaw sits wherever I put it, works very nicely. As you start to move back here into the neck region of the Mosasaurus, you begin to see some kind of skin detail here as far as like wrinkling and creasing going on. Even more of it here on the underside, actually starting under the lower jaw, moving into the throat. Really nice looking scale detail under there as well. And you can obviously see that we transition very nicely to a nice white tone for the underside. Really quite bright tone and that's exactly as you would like to see would be like a darker tone and a lighter tone for something like this. A large marine reptile I would expect to look exactly like this as far as the coloration goes. We also start to pick up some darker striping. Really, really subtle striping. And you can see as you move along it is absolutely as subtle as it gets when it comes to that darker striping. Definitely gives it a really nice natural appearance overall as far as the paintwork goes you can also again take notice to the fact that that scale detail on top of looking obviously very reptilian very almost like snake like really pops on the sculpt like look at how nice that scale detail looks that is really really vibrant detail I also just noticed that there are some injuries up here actually on the back of the Mosasaurus. You can see a few kind of scars right there on the back of our Mosasaurus. As you move down here, you can see some more wrinkling increasing in the skin as you lead out into the flipper. The flipper as well sports that same style of really nice looking scale detail throughout. Again, super reptilian looking scale detail. And again, it's another instance of some really subtle changing in colors because I can see some darker and lighter tones here in the nice light, but it's almost, you know, a little bit tricky to pick up on unless you're really looking for it. You can see some darker tones here, some darker tones here, lighter tones running through here. Really, really subtle as far as the application of that paint goes. I don't even know if it's actually picking up on camera. As you continue to move along, you again see the really nice kind of slender body to our Mosasaurus. You can also see that the spinal column is nicely highlighted here running along the back 
of the animal and on top of the nice skin texture we also have kind of like some creases and stuff here and there that you'll pick up on as far as the fine detail goes again right there is a good spot to really see how smooth the transition is between the grayish tone and the white underbelly you can continue to notice that the stripes run down the course of the animal there's another scar it looks like and potentially another one right there so we obviously see a mosasaurus here with some nice realism added to it because these animals are not going to go their entire lives without suffering some form of damage somewhere, so you're definitely going to expect to see scars at some point. And as you move back here to the rear flipper, again some nice creasing there as you lead down into the flipper. The flipper itself is also nicely sculpted, just like the initial flipper was that we had taken a look at. Again, really nice scale detail in this area as well. And yet again, some nice, really subtle additions of the darker tone that we see kind of striping through the course of the Mosasaurus. As we lead out here, you continue to see that that striping runs all the way out into the tail and even to the actual tail itself. You can see that we have more of those stripes sort of really, again, subtle additions of that paint application. Also some nice creasing and stuff here in the tail and yet again there's another little injury up there on the top of the tail of the Mosasaurus. I really really love that Collect Day just does the very very smallest little subtle things to their models to just amp up the realism. I actually think I see another injury over here on this side. Yep right there so there's another injury on the top running along the tail right there. But again, you're going to see pretty much the same thing as you move out the length of this side because the Mosasaurus isn't in any kind of like a dramatic position. Like for the most part, it's almost straightforward. It's got a little bit of curve. Actually, there's a little bit of an injury right there to the flipper as well. But you can see it has a little curve to the body. Well, if my camera would focus there, you can mostly see the majority of the curve is in the tail area of our Mosasaurus, but the body itself is slightly curved but not too bad overall which again means that the majority of this side is going to look pretty much the same as we saw on the initial side again a really beautiful looking head sculpt right there but overall it is definitely a really nicely sculpted mosasaurus absolutely jam-packed with detail and some pretty nice paintwork overall nice naturalistic paint scheme and it has a very impressive size to it so Honestly, I would say it's probably the total package as far as the Mosasaurus goes. Certainly a very nice release from Collect Day for the 2023 year. I think looking at this, honestly, like the only thing that you could potentially, or at least that I would think, complain about would be the fact that the paint scheme isn't flashy. They're like, there's not a lot to the paint scheme. And uh, I mean, other than that, the sculpt looks great. The articulation works nice. The size is really nice. And I actually do like the paint scheme. I think it's nice and natural. So, I mean, some people might have preferred a more flashy paint scheme or something like that on it, but this is honestly like what I would expect when it comes to a Mosasaurus. I would absolutely expect it to be a coloration like this. So I think that as well looks really good. As far as the size goes to show you that it is quite large for a length from the snout to the tail, you are looking at right around 15 and three quarter inches or about 39 and a half centimeters closing in on 40 centimeters there's not much of a height of course being a mosasaurus like if you go to the top of the tail fin here you're looking at just shy of two inches or a little under five centimeters so not much in the way of a height but for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon from the mattel jurassic world toy line next to our collect a mosasaurus and you can definitely see that it has a very impressive size honestly again it's got some pretty good length to it not so much you know a lot of you know height or body mass or anything like that i mean it's a mosasaurus you don't really expect that but in the length department it definitely has a very impressive size and i felt like in this instance as far as a comparison goes we have the collecte romaliosaurus here next to the mosasaurus so i figured a kind of a, like an aerial view here would be better to really see the size since they're so low lying to the ground for obvious reasons but you can definitely see that the mosasaurus is significantly longer though the romaliosaurus obviously has a bit more body mass then we've also got the collecte liaplorodon here next to the mosasaurus showing you that again this is a massive size difference between these two models but for another comparison, here is the Collecte Dolly Corincops next to the Mosasaurus, and you're obviously going to see a huge size difference between these two figures. We also have the Collecte Elasmosaurus here next to the Mosasaurus, obviously, again, a pretty big size difference. 
Unfortunately, I actually don't have the original Mosasaurus from Collect Day, and I don't think I ever realized that until right now when going through my, you know, Collect Day marine reptiles and stuff, I realized that I don't have that Mosasaurus. So now I have to go looking for that and try to acquire one because I definitely want that in my collection. And uh, that's the problem with having so many figures. You never know if you have them sometimes or not. And then in instances like this, when you really need it, you realize you don't have it. But for another comparison, there is the Savactinus next to the Mosasaurus. Again, as far as aquatic species go, there is the Spinosaurus, I believe from last year, next to the Mosasaurus. Again, showing you that these ones would actually be a pretty similar size, I would think, if we actually move the Spino up. Yeah, absolutely. So the Mosasaurus is a little bit longer but not really by much, definitely a similar size there. And just in case you haven't, here is the Walking with Dinosaurs Toyway Liaplorodon next to the Mosasaurus as well. Clearly, the Collect A Mosasaurus wins this round in size yet again. And then here is another comparison that is probably one most people were looking for. We have the PNSO Mosasaurus next to the Collect A version. You can see they are pretty similar in size. I think the PNSO version might be slightly longer potentially, but overall they are definitely very similar size so if you happen to have the pnso version it should already help to give you a pretty good idea of the size of this new collect a version and then we also have the invicta liaplorodon here next to the collect a mosasaurus again massive size difference here and then for one more comparison we have the collect a edmontosaurus as well next to the mosasaurus and i really wanted to bring this one in just because the edmontosaurus is pretty well known for being fairly large and you can see that that Mosasaurus is absolute competition when it comes to a size next to that very nicely sized Edmontosaurus. So this brand new 2023 Mosasaurus from Collect A is definitely a really nice figure. And again, it's definitely a very nice looking figure overall. The coloration, again, like I said earlier, some people might be a little bit let down because it's not very flashy or really you know of course you wouldn't expect it to be too colorful but there's just not a whole lot to it it's a fairly basic paint job and paint scheme because it's just basically grayish tones with a light underbelly and a nice striping but i actually really quite like it because when it comes to an animal like this that is so huge you're definitely not going to expect it to have flashy tones of colors you don't want it to easily be seen approaching like it absolutely needs darker tones of color like this to be able to acquire food so i feel like the coloration chosen by collect day for this is pretty much perfect for what i would expect to see on a living mosasaurus i would definitely expect this sort of darker coloration overall because it would really benefit the animal overall when hunting and the coloration is nice and naturally applied, especially when it comes to that striping running down the course of the model. Really subtle, smooth application as far as that goes. And it's a really nice smooth transition as we lead down toward the lighter underbelly as well. The sculpt overall is fantastic when it comes to the fine detail. There is tons of detail throughout the entire figure. Really nice scale detail, nice creasing in the skin overall. It pretty much includes every ounce of detail you would like to see on a Mosasaurus, and it's really vibrant as a whole. On top of that, we have an articulated jaw, which is always fun because having the opportunity to kind of switch it up and change the pose slightly of your Mosasaurus when it comes to the articulated jaw is always fun. And it also gives us a chance to have the mouth closed again in a more relaxing sort of a position or have the mouth open if it's coming in for a bite to eat and you know helps to open up some possibilities as far as dioramas go and on top of all of that you have a really nice size it is absolutely one of the largest figures of the year for collect day definitely the second largest overall right behind the ruyangasaurus so as a whole it's again a really nice release from collect day definitely one worth picking up for sure especially if you are Running low on Mosasaurus figures, this is a great one to pick up. So if you are interested in this, make sure you keep checking Everything Dinosaur because I believe this should be coming into stock pretty soon on that website. Make sure you grab it when it does show up there and also like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.